Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Sonoff 4 Channel Pro uh, version 2, almost said version 4, and they don't have a version 4 yet, version 2 that you've seen me do several other videos on, and we're going to link it into Google Assistant, and I'll be doing that showing you the JBL Link 300 that the folks at JBL were nice enough to send to me. Because there's times when you're at home that, let's face it, if we're on the cell phones enough every day, we don't need a little bit more time. And that'll start right now. So since I'm into several videos now at this point, I've done well, close to 30 right now involving the book, I'm going to operate on a few assumptions or presumptions. Number one, that you've got Google Assistant already up and running. And hopefully you're using the Link 300. If not, you know, it's, you can start with your phone. But I think once you've seen the Link 300, or even just something of JBL line, the, the audio is much nicer, and especially when you start playing sound through it, it's when you really will notice a, a good difference. You got that up and running, that you've got your Sonoff device configured and up and running, and that you've got using the Google Home app on your smartphone, that you've got eWeLink integrated into it. And once you've done that, then that's really the bulk of the work. But I've already shown that in detail in a few videos, so I'm not going to keep rehashing things again and again. Because if you've done this any amount at all, you kind of know where I'm going. And I you know, I want to be respectful of anybody's time. So we'll switch over to the phone at this point. And I'll drop my uh, graphic there. Now, you see at this point, we've already got the uh, Smart eWe link listed. Now, if that is not listed... Remember, you just tap on the plus, the lower right-hand corner, and you'll scroll down here until you see the... Okay, it's not showing down here because we've already got it linked. Okay, well, they kudos to Google. They did rethink that one. So you already see here that it shows six devices. Now, if you have already got eWeLink integrated, and then you add the Sonoff... 4 Channel Pro V2, you may have to unlink and relink your account. It Sometimes you may have to, sometimes it's, it's timing and how it finds things, but be prepared that you may have to do that process. And like I showed in one of the earlier videos, before you do the integration between the two, always double check everything with the Sonoff native app so that you know it's working at that level. Now, at this point, no, we're not going to unlink the account. I thought I could cheat and and get to the main menu. Now you see at this point, it knows about not only the main unit, so theoretically you can turn all inputs on and off, and we may try that here in a bit, but you'll notice that where I had renamed the inputs on the Sonoff app, where I've got the name of the device and truck and trailer, now, it will work with just that, and, and let me show you. We're going to switch back up here to the main camera, and we will go, let's see, I'm trying to, I've got to get another camera set up, so bear with me. Hey, Google, turn truck on. You got it, turning the 4CH Pro V2 truck on. Now, see, it, it gave the full name, so... You don't have to to do the deleting, but just to keep things clean, what I would go in and do is we'll tap on the tr one truck name down here, and we will go through here, and we will just delete out the extra. So let's see if we can, there we go, and let's delete that extra space just in case. And it will still know it by its full name, but we're actually going to sit there and delete out some of the extra information and I am impressed that it actually was able to parse and pick up the specific input. So let's go again here and we'll go, hey Google, turn truck on. Okay, turning on the truck. And well actually what we need to do is get all the way out because it actually, you saw Google Assistant pick up on the phone, but even though the Link 300 actually handled the, the transaction. And then, hey, Google, truck door off. 
Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. See, it, it, because of the latching state we used, it doesn't know how to turn off because it thinks it's off at that point. So, hey, Google, turn trailer on. Okay, turning the trailer on. Momentary to delay, but realizing it's got to go out at least once to the Internet and maybe back and maybe a second time, that's, that's not shabby. So... This is really, I mean, we've got it up and running, and here we've been into the video less than uh, less than five minutes. So really, that's that's not shabby that it is that easy. So you know, you can see by some of the other videos what I did to get this up and running. It's very straightforward, and I'll be permanently mounting my 4CH here in the next few days because, guys, I've showed you how do you do it with all three of the main voice options and I want to start leaving this thing in production so that it, it works. But I mean, I have tested it with the garage door, but unfortunately I couldn't run the wires from the garage door all the way in here. But I mean, it's worked every time I've tested it. So I'm going to time to put my money where my mouth is or my mouth where my money is, as the case may be, and get this thing up and running because I would really like to voice control it from the truck because then I get away with not having to be within, it's about 50 to 70 feet within the house that I've got to be in order for the RF link in the truck to work. And sometimes, depending on where I am, I've found a couple of minor dead spots. So this gets around all that. So this is probably going to be the last video I'm going to do on the Sona 4. Now, like we talked about with some of the other voice control options, you you heard the limitation that I have to, I can't say open door, I have to do turn truck on, which sounds kind of redundant when you're in your truck and the engine's already running or your vehicle. So if, if you really want to have a more native option, because I tried and Google also has the, the same situation at this point, they don't understand about the open command, probably because the API set that's being used. So you can do the IFTTT integration, or at least look into that. That's certainly uh, an option, but it, it's you know it's a trade-off. Realizing this is still pretty new technology. I mean, for those of you that are probably of of my age, you remember the Dick Tracy cartoons when they had the the wristwatch that was a combination two-way radio slash cell phone slash whatever. We're at that point now, so really. You know, there's a few little bumps in the road that, that are going to have to be dealt with. So I uh, want to thank everybody for watching this video. I've got more planned. The next big piece I've got to do is talking about a home media center. Microsoft used to have one. Well, now, you know, I'm going to be showing something called Plex. And I've been about two weeks into this kind of kicking the tires and I'm actually getting my own personal one set up and I've got a spare one that I'm going to use to walk you through everything that I'm looking at. And there's a few pieces, parts that may not be uh, directly apparent and that's where I've been spending all the time going through and, and, and kicking the tires and getting things up and running. So this is, by the time we walk through kind of my, my first pass of the major parts of technology, there's a lot of things that are going to be really nice to to have up and running and then you can show off your friends. Hey, I've got a smart home. Why don't you? Thank you very much for, for watching all the videos that I've done and especially those that have subscribed to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, this, this tells me every day that when I see the numbers go up that you do appreciate it because every time you subscribe, that helps me. And if you want to click the little bell notification that way, as I come out with new videos and I'm trying to do about two to three a week, depending on when I've got new gear coming in. And it's usually I'm several hours in getting ready to do each video because I want to have all the information I can to make it a value to you. So I've got some time into this. But if it helps you avoid some of the, the pitfalls that I've come across or the challenges, then my job is done. I've got affiliate links in the bottom. So if you haven't gotten a Sonoff for Channel Pro V2, if you do buy one through the link, I really appreciate that because every little bit helps. And it's it's really nice because at about $30 to $35 at least US, this is a very attractive option that is it's worth considering. And that way you don't have to go upgrade the garage door and, and do other things as you as I was looking to do with some of the other options. 
So moving forward, there will, this is all going to be in the book that I've been working on. I'm hoping, I'm still looking at probably in the, now the June timeframe for this to get released because I, there's a few more things I want to get in the book in this release of it because I'm already planning probably a second version to cover all the things that I didn't get to in time in, in this version. I mean, I'm looking at different types of smart locks. Uh, I'm looking at all different options. In fact, I've even had some conversations with Samsung that I need to get back with them about taking my home to the next level and getting some of the smart appliances. We'll see how well that works, but there's a lot that can be done. It's just a matter of don't try to do everything at once. Kind of just crawl before you walk kind of deal because it can be a little overwhelming if you get the cart before the horse, so to speak. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. would really appreciate it. Uh, click on the bell icon to uh, know when I come up with a new video. If you do buy something through the affiliate links I have in there, yes, I do make a small amount, but that's going to cover my cost of the equipment I've been buying and to be able to do videos for you. So if it helps you at the end of the day, then you know my job is, is done. So if you have any questions and you've already seen me do one video, where one of you had a question and I did a video of exactly how to go through it, please reach out to me. I'm happy to do what I can. And because if, if we all help each other, then we're in a much better place. So thank you for your time and we'll see you again soon.